Hi, right guys. Uh, just lifted up the overwintering onions. Now I've been picking them as I need them, and I've just harvested the rest of the lot. The only ones worth keeping were the radar, which were this end, um, the electric, the red ones in the middle, and the snowball. They're just a waste of time. I'll just uh, take you back over here a second. I'm not even going to bother saving any of these. I mean. Uh, most of them have gone to seed, but there's nothing there, you know, then they're they're quite dry, so I'm not gonna bother, not gonna bother. But the radar, only a few of those had bolted. And there's a fair few there, so uh, I'll be um I'll be drying them out and using them pretty quick, because as you know, overwintering ones don't really store too long. But you know, be enough for me. I reckon I use Oh I don't know, it's hard to say really. Half a dozen a week. Well, maybe more than that, I reckon. Yeah, depends what I'm doing, I suppose. <laughs> right. Now, these onions, uh, Stuttgart, I believe, Stuttgart, these were sets again. One or two are bolting, so I'm going to pick these next time I come up. Tell you what, it's nice to have a cooler day today. Um, the, I'm pretty sure these are Stuttgart. So, nice and gentle. They're not particularly big because they're sown very close together. And what I'll do, same as last time, any bolted ones, I'll have a quick look around, see what they're like before I decide on keeping them or not. It certainly does pay if you want if you want big ones, it certainly does pay to plant them further apart. I mean that one's away from the rest lot, and that's a fair old size. But I don't mind. Oh, there we are then. Might as well just leave them here to dry. And same with the radar as well, which I put over that frame there, look. Yeah, might as well. Left more, more room here than I got at home, that's for sure. All right, let's get some of these beetroot in. Well, that's upsetting. My planting handles broke. So I'm going to have to use a little trowel for now till I get a new one, or find an old bit of wood. <coughs> right, these are 51 Detroit 6 Rubius, 52 Crosby Egyptian, and 196 Choggia. So 51, 52, 196. That's just a note for myself really, but you know. <laughs> Around three across here. Won't be sown as usual. And two rows of whatever that one is. One nine six. I'll do. Right, water. Well, let's get some blocks of spring onions in. Yeah, it'll be all right. Uh, see, look, even with that watered like that, it's hardly hardly touched it. Right, and last up for today, a couple of butternut squash waltham. Half a bag of living green for each to do it.
that one there. Soaks in well, that does. All right, guys, I'll tell you what I'm getting this year. Well, that I've never really had before, and it's volunteer vegetables a bit like that beetroot there but they're not volunteers because last year's have self-seeded they're volunteers because last year's sowings have now germinated this year <laughs> isn't it weird and that's, yeah. yeah it's a couple like that there's a couple of beetroot around and there's some carrots as well never seen it before how's that for a poppy then lovely isn't it danish flag yeah, there's quite a few flowers on that one. It's a funny one though, the um, little bit of wind and the petals come off straight away. So that wasn't there yesterday and it probably won't be there tomorrow. I was at the West End block the other day and I noticed my giant marrow was throwing up marrows from the crown and I've never seen that before. So I got to thinking, oh no, I've messed up the labels. And um, so is that probably a courgette? And the other one's much the same as well. The two giant marrows. See that the young ones in the middle. So anyway, I looked around two where I planted a couple of courgettes and the leaves are fundamentally different look Ooh. the leaves are more um, zigzaggy one's um, a tainer polka that's a sorry that's a zucchini and that's a tainer polka and that's the same look got zigzaggy leaves they're totally different so um, so uh, worry over <laughs> You know, I was thinking I'd messed up. I mean, because you look at that, that baby courgette in there, you think that was the same as that marrow at the top there. Oh. Mind you, the plant itself does look substantially bigger, doesn't it? Yeah. Right, I'll do it for here. Okay then, guys, it's cooled down a bit now, so I'm sat outside. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to pod all these broad beans a bit ropey some of them but anyway i'm going to pod them i'm going to make a selection of broad bean hummuses so now it's cooled down i'm just going to sit out here pod these stick them in some water overnight and then i'll blanch them tomorrow seven o'clock now it's just cooled down brilliant right i'm not going to make make you watch me do all these because i'm pretty sure i did them last year as well so um well i'll show you what i've done when i've finished Ah, not a bad lot. That's about 20 minutes, I suppose, that took. Yeah, so I'll process those tomorrow. The good thing as well, because they were about a day old, it was a darn sight easier to get the uh, the skins off the pod. To, it was a darn sight easier to pod them. Doesn't matter when you're not going to use them fresh, look, because the, uh, they're going to get processed tomorrow. Um, let me show you this a minute. Only a couple of damaged, well, I say a couple. There weren't that many damaged ones. But if you see a little black spot on the outside like that, when you open the uh, the pod up, you'll see a little black spot on the bean itself. And you'll have some sort of maggoty thing in there. Oh, he's gone now. <laughs> um, 
If it was peas, I'd say it was a pea moth. I don't know what they're called, and broad beans. Broad bean moth, that'll do. <laughs> so yeah, making um, hummus tomorrow, broad bean hummus. I'm going to try a couple of different flavours. I did mint last year, and uh, I certainly have got plenty of mint up there. Oh look, the uh, Greek gigantes are flowering, white flowers. Ooh. Ah, brilliant. I got basil there as well, so I could do a basil flavour. I got sesame seeds, so I could do tahini. Mm. Oh, the world is my oyster. Except I'm not going to do an oyster one, because that'd be disgusting. <laughs> right. You're right, guys. I don't know if you remember, back on um, 20th of March, I had that horrible ambassador compost. And I mixed one sample with some super soil, and I didn't mix the second sample. And I did a nitrate test on it on the 24th of April. And the super soil sample had improved nitrates. Well, what I've done, I kept the kept the two seed trays. I've kept them relatively watered. And yesterday, I took the two 50 gram samples of soil compost, added the 200 grams of water. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do a test kit for the whole range of all the uh, the different nutrients. See what we got. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to make you watch me do all of it because you know the routine. It's take a bit of the clear liquid three mil into each file and then put your reagent in and then drop the powders in. So I've got two test kits so I'm going to do eight different bottles and I think I've got them labelled right. Yeah that's A so that should be A as well and I'll bring you back when they're all done. Right slight change of plan. The two test kits have got different size bottles. One's round one's square. So what I'll do I'll do both nitrates in square, both phosphates in square, both, you know, and so on. So they're, they're all similar. We're not comparing different depths of colour, if you like. Right, so this is what I've done. These are the colours of the tests, the caps. So red's pH, white is nitrate, uh, blue is phosphorus, and orange is potassium. So what I've done for sample A, I've used the true colour for the test. So here, that's A and B, and that is pH, because it's red. And I'm not sure if you can make that out, but that is over 7.5 alkaline. Okay, so next. Nitrate. Now, this is quite easy to look at. A and B, pinky and nothing. So we got nothing and sort of low to medium. So A is better than B. A is better than B. Next up. Phosphorus. A and B. That one's bluer than that one. That's bluish. And that's blue green, if you know what I mean. Green is low, up to blue is high. So A is better than B. The exact reading is probably medium to low and low. So like I say, it's not easy doing this in this sunlight. And uh, last up, potassium. I'll unfold the paper for this one. They're both the same. They're both low or low to medium. Right, so that's A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B, right across. And then we're going to put all the A's and all the B's together. Here we are then, so on the left we got the A's. On the right we got the B's. A better than B. And it won't surprise you to know that A is the super soil dosed ambassador compost. Okay then, four months ago, I started the super soil trial. Uh, put some on some really old spent potato compost, sowed radish in one lot and carrots in another lot, and here they are. So somewhere in here we've got a dose of zero, a dose of 100 to one, and a dose of 1,000 to one. Don't know which is which, because the labels are buried quite deep. So what I'm gonna do is take them out, count them, weigh them, 
and work out an average. Now there's a darn sight less carrots than the seeds I sowed because they were decimated by pests. I nearly wrapped it all in but I thought no nah, let's keep it going just be interesting to see. This one here is wilting a bit a bit dry but anyway I'm not going to tip them out I was going to pull each carrot out in turn. So I'll just do one at a time. Don't know which one this is, but this is first. I'll put the rest on the floor and I'll get my scales and get a bowl and uh, back in a sec. Right, this is pot B. So I'll just, uh, I don't need to tear it off, do I? Because the bowl's the same weight for all of them. So I don't bother with that. So let's see what we got then. If any snap off, I will. <laughs> oh dear. This is B, so that's one. I want a little bit of dirt on them, two. Three. And that, four. Five. Thirteen, well that's surprising. B is thirteen. Ah, I do have to tear it off, don't I? Because I need to weigh the carrots, yeah. Right. The total weight is at 322. C. Well, it's a carrot, two. <laughs> it had to happen, didn't it? Three. Nine. That's 10 and that's grass. Nothing else. Can't even see the label. I'll have to dig for that. And the weight is 391. Let's see, 10. 391. So if it was clever, I could put B there, C there, put A here. So I'm guessing the last one's A. Yeah. Right, let's concentrate. <laughs> I think they were carrot. Yeah, yeah, actually. One. Two. Uh, two. You know. <laughs> Three. Twenty. 21. I'll tell you what, I just realised. 21, 21, 21. I just realised. <laughs> what a daft choice of shirt. I'm just waiting for Danny to say something. 21. Oh, crying, the weight is. Six hundred and thirty six. So I'm gonna get me a calcumer later. Crikey, it's getting hotter. Come on in Danny, waiting for the comment. <laughs> right, we got then. Oh, kind of see it. Six three six divided by twenty one. Average weight thirty. I'll round it up, I'll round it down, alright. Um 322 divided by 13 is 25. I can do 390 divided by 10, uh, 39. Well, that's quite a significant difference there. Right, so let's see which is which then. So 
I know it's around the other side somewhere. Oh! So that's ooh, a one to a thousand. Number of times I get black spots on my face doing that. Oh, crikey, that's a bit one. We'll see. One to a hundred. Well, I'm just making sure then that <laughs> B is God. deep down that one. Zero. Right. So, in first place, second place, third place. Maybe you'll see that, I don't expect. 1 to 100, 39 grams per carat. 1 to 1,000, 30 grams a carat. And no super soil, 25 grams a carat. Yeah. Not sure why there's so many in there, because I only sowed 18, so I must have dropped a few. Doesn't matter, I didn't win anyway. <laughs> yeah, so again, I think, you know, it's better with super soil than without. I mean, what's that? That's um, da, 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 half over half heavier, average, thirty nine twenty five. Yeah, half heavier. Ah, oh, guys, gonna go and get a drink of squash. I reckon. Ooh, I put these carrots indoors somewhere as well. Shan't wash them because they'll split.